comes to looking at old media is the new media. So we kind of felt that also it could be part of the solution and we wanted to have some fun and put in some serious commentary about the relationship that we have with our devices. Here's the original work and as you lift the, the device up, you see the remix. What do you find uh, the viewer reaction is when they see that scene come to life? Um, I think there's an initial delight because of the, um, the technology. Um, you know, so just having the painting come to life and it kind of seems like magic. And then I think they start noticing the elements that are different. The point of this is really for the painting to get its revenge on the visitor. So now as you lift up your device, you'll see that he's pointing his camera at us and he'll follow us around the room and just take pictures of us. This isn't the first time the AGO has incorporated technology into their exhibits and it won't be the last. Staff here say the exhibit has been popular among all age groups, not just young people. We've been able to really leverage technology to help people see art in a different way. And for me, that's the real magic. Well, as soon as we used the, you know, the, the tablet on it, they really came to life. It was quite amazing. And then the humor and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the technology really worked. You know, we have no idea whether the artists would approve, but anything that can get people stopping and looking at sometimes forgotten works, I think, is a good thing. And, you know, I, I'm an artist and I'd love it if someone else found a way of getting people to engage with my works, which may be long forgotten. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto. Okay. Oh,